And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 9th of February, 2021. It was on this date in 1943 the Battle of Guadalcanal ended, which was the Allied forces' first major offensive against the Japanese in World War II, Guadalcanal in the Solomon Islands, about 90 miles long, 25 miles wide. The Japanese had taken it in June 1942, intending to build an airfield and from there launch long-range bombers. The Allied invaded on August the 7th, 1942, and took over the airfield. The Japanese launched a counterattack in November. It was a ferocious battle, heavy casualties on both sides. The American troops, eager but inexperienced, especially at night operations, so the Japanese planned attacks for the midnight hours. For every soldier who fell in battle, others fell to malaria or dysentery. After six months of major land battles, naval battles, air battles, the Japanese began to evacuate. And on February 9, 1943, the United States declared victory. The Japanese lost 25,000 troops and 6,300 U.S. Marines were killed. 1964, on this day, the Beatles appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time, teenage girls screaming in the audience. 73 million people watched for home. It was a record for American television at the time. It was on this day, 1870, the National Weather Service was established. At first it was called the Weather Bureau. It was part of the War Department. Then 20 years later it came under the Department of Agriculture, then to the Commerce Department in 1940. These days the National Weather Service is based out of Silver Spring, Maryland. It's the birthday of Alice Walker, born in Eatonton, Georgia, 1944, the youngest of eight children, daughter of poor sharecroppers, who graduated first in her high school class, won a scholarship to Spelman College in Atlanta, transferred to Sarah Lawrence, and met Langston Hughes, who became an early champion of her writing, began to publish poetry in the late 1960s, and it was with her third novel, The Color Purple, in 1982, that she reached a much larger audience. It won the Pulitzer Prize and the National Book Award in that year. And it's the birthday of the playwright and novelist Brendan Behan, born Dublin, 1923. His father took part in the Irish Rebellion of the early 20s. The father was in a British prison when the boy was born. By the time he was 16, Brendan Behan was being sent on missions to bomb British targets. He was thrown in jail for carrying a suitcase full of homemade explosives through the streets of Liverpool. And while in prison, he began to write. He wrote his first play, The Quare Fellow, and then the novel Borstal Boy and The Hostage, in which he wrote, Never throw stones at your mother, you'll be sorry for it when she's dead. Never throw stones at your mother, throw bricks at your father instead. Here's a poem for today by William Stafford, dated June 21, 1944, Peg Leg Lookout, California a poem entitled Home. Our father owned a star, and by its light we lived in father's house and slept at night. The tragedies of life, like death and war, were faces looking in at our front door. But finally, all came in from near and far. You can't believe in locks and own a star. A poem by William Stafford, Home, from his collection Another World Instead, published by Grey Wolf Press, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.